Hey beautifuls! So today I am doing a couple videos. I'm pre-filming actually right now because this lighting is really really nice and I do like it a lot. But today I am going to be introducing you guys to another new series on my channel. I know I talked about doing a hates to loves um, video which will be coming very soon but I actually came up with this last night or the past few days I should say um, because I've been kind of gathering myself and I've just been watching a lot of uh, Tati's videos. I just subscribed to her. I've been watching her like a crazy person watches their favorite show on Netflix. That's how I've been like. <sighs> That's literally been me. I am going to put on some lip product. Hold on. And we're back. I'm actually testing out another product that I want to do in this series as part of do I still like it because I have kind of put pushed these to the side for a really long time as well as this item I'm sharing with you guys today which is the Color Institute shades of royalty eyeshadow palette you guys know that danielle got this for me for christmas about two three years ago and i this was like my second eyeshadow palette that i when i first started getting back into makeup because i had my big elf one which i am going to test that one too see if i still like it um because this has just literally been sitting in my collection so this is what the colors look like it is a very nice packaging it's very sturdy um has a magnetic closure which i like a lot because um sometimes those closures with nails it just don't work nice big mirror in it as well and the colors are really awesome you get a nice variety of brights you can do smoky eyes with it you could do colorful eyes which I really liked about this when I first started you know getting back into makeup when I first started you know actually doing my channel um, back in like 2012 I believe that I got this I think 2011 2012 not sure but this is a really really old ass palette I do know that you can get this at Kohl's but it's always named something different every holiday season um, I'm not sure if they still do that but I noticed that the past few years I've seen this exact palette just with the different name and the exact brand so sorry Danielle I know where you got it but it's okay um, I don't care but um, I really did enjoy this palette a lot as you guys can see I did hit pan on three colors this black this brown color and this highlight and this one actually did break which sucks but nonetheless I had a good time testing it out and using it um, before I knew what good shadows actually were <laughs> basically I have been testing it out I did wear it last night and the, the day before and I do have to say that this palette is very very chalky it is not like um, Urban Decay shadows or Lorac shadows or even Wet n Wild shadows it is just really not not that like you can't tell that you're getting a lot of pigment on your fingers so I'll just swatch like three of these blues for you guys like on my fingers so pigmented in love but then I swatch them on my hand which I have blue liner and they are next to nothing you have to literally build up these shadows for them to work and that's just something that I don't know if I want to deal with and I really had a hard time working with these shadows for that reason because I had to keep building my colors and building my crease and building my highlight building the colors to really get the intensity that this palette shows off so when I really think about it do I really still like it I have to give this a flat out no I don't like it anymore but that's only because I have found things that work better for me personally now someone just starting out in makeup and experimenting I would recommend this if you are not really that serious and you just like playing around whatever or if what the fuck or if you have a teen that is just starting to get into some kind of makeup and you want to get them a palette I do recommend this just to play around with this would be great but other than that um if you're not looking for something serious to mess around with um, you just want to play around with colors you don't really care about pigmentation then you know this would be good for you but for me personally I don't still love it at all this is a big flat out uh, no I don't like this anymore it's not going to go to my products regret buying bin but more of my empties because it's not that I emptied it it's more of like these shadows are just not good anymore so I'm sorry I loved you for so long before I knew what real makeup was <sighs> memories so that's basically how this video is going to go. I'm basically going to give you guys a history on the product, why I loved it so much, do I still like it, all the details and swatches and all that kind of jazz. Um, 
and I'll see if I still love it and if I do recommend it to you guys like this is okay to play around with if you're not serious but if you like want to build your kit and all that crap and you're a makeup artist don't buy this just don't because it's not good <laughs> at all um, for pigmentation um, lasting it lasted about half the day it didn't last all day which I want my shadows to last all day and I have used my Urban Decay primer potion with it and my hard candy one because I wanted to use a drugstore based primer and it just did not hold up with either one. It did hold up a little bit better with Urban Decay, but just it still didn't, you know, it still wasn't up to par in my mind. So, but that is all my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you in some way. Please like the video and comment below if you want me to keep doing this series because I really do like it and it really gives me a chance to really rediscover a lot of the makeup products that I have because I have neglected a lot and I think I only use about like 30 to 35 percent of my makeup on a daily basis yeah so I really want to dapple more and get more into it and uh yeah so I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video bye